Courtney has always, since the day we met, um, pushed me to do things that she will call it guidance. I can convince Dave to do anything. I can convince Dave to do anything. She waxes my eyebrows. <laughs> it's on my arm. You're not going to rip it off. We're shaving it. Um, it's just a small. <laughs> You know what? David, okay. You, are, you know how close you are to my eyeball? We need a break. You can't move. If you were at a salon right now, they would throw you out. If you move, if you need okay, to... Okay, move your hands. You're next, buddy. I am? Yep. Yay! You're going to be so happy with yourself after this is done. I'm squeezing Sully so hard. <laughs> He's about to pop. <laughs> Sully, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, ready? Stay still. <laughs> she just has a way of... of do this once. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. And I usually end up liking it, um, except for the, the eye wax thing. I don't think any male should ever have to go through that. Yay, Dad. Hi, Sully. That's it. I'm Courtney Wilson, and this is my husband, Dave. For some reason, people seem to think we live an interesting life. Maybe it's that we're chasing a record deal. Or that we flip houses. While trying to raise two young children. Soon to be three. Four, if you count your friend, Jeff. We're just struggling to follow our dreams and still make ends meet. Just like any family. Go Wilson! Slice of life. First time I saw Courtney, I actually was in love. The first time I met Dave, I thought he was gay. <laughs> I moved here at 18, and to, to be a country music artist, didn't have any contacts in my Rolodex, didn't have a Rolodex. All I knew was of a pro professor in Canada who said that I had to call this guy that was a songwriter. He was struggling, but he'd let me stay at his place. Derek Rutan had a place outside of Nashville that we used to call the farm. The farm was a place where Canadian musicians would come down and it was a place to land, put their bags down, and get climatized to Nashville. My mom and I stroll up to um, Derek and Margaret's place and um, we open the door and I see a bald man that looks like a killer. That ended up being Dave. First time I saw Courtney, I actually was in love. Really? Don't know if I've ever admitted that. I don't know, she had this, I'm new to life type thing, and she had this energy about her. It was, a, it was in her spirit. I don't know, it was something very, hadn't seen that in a long time. The first time I met Dave, I thought he was gay, and I was disappointed because I thought he was so adorable. First of all, the way you dress. Remember you used to wear girls' cords. I don't know if <laughs> you were gay. I didn't wear girls' cords. <laughs> yes, you did, Dave. I bought those cords at Camden Market. They happened to be women's pants, okay. but I didn't know so that. Okay, so he was in women's pants but they when did, I met They did fit perfectly <laughs> on my body shape. That's all. But I did. I thought he was oh so, ador so adorable, and I was relieved. Like, I felt there were, looking back, I think how lucky was I to have had somebody in my life from the moment I moved to Nashville to laugh with and to make me feel relaxed and you know enjoy the surroundings because I was so nervous and I was just you know I didn't know what I was entering into so he was just my calm and that's the truth you were and then you know I like I said I quickly realized that he wasn't gay and then I kissed him and then from there we were you know married with children <laughs> Well, not exactly. We struggled for a bit. I signed a record deal with Lyric Street and struggled a bit more and had a brief stint on a soap opera, One Life to Live. Then 9-11 hit. I was released from my record deal. Dave was signed to his record deal shortly before that. Shortly after 9-11, he was released from his record deal and we were struggling again, so. <laughs> Um, what better time to get married and <laughs> put that pressure on us? Hey, 
yet. Your mama just went into labor, and I'm not ready. I haven't packed all the stuff I told your mom I had already packed. I thought we had a few more days. <laughs> so, what should I wear? We're gonna find some clothes, and then when we get packed, your mama's not gonna know the difference. Everything is cool, okay? So you stay in that big old warm sack of water for about 12 more hours. Give me 12 hours, okay? Because I'm not ready, I repeat. Not ready. Well, just, maybe just strip it down. No, no. In the music industry, it's really unheard of to just sort of start a family. Like, oh, she's having babies now, so she's done. Boys, do not do that. Some of the bumps have been the, the time, the timing of when we work. I work best at night, she works best in the morning. That never works, and that really works for us now because we are pretty much the slave to when the kids say we can work. We're not a family band, but we're gonna do this as a family, and we're gonna be together, and we're not gonna sacrifice one for the other. Jump in, hurry, hurry fast. We're not gonna leave them home with a nanny and go and go on the road for a year and promote ourselves. That's not the dream. The dream is to have it all. See what people will do for love. Well, we should think about when we're going to. Sally, Jet! And we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Dave and I both wake up freakishly early. I don't know what day it is, but it's 5 a.m. This is just supporting the house while we uh, figure out what to do with the roof because there's nothing holding the house up. 